all right welcome back so finally we are set up and ready to create our first machining operation which is going to be the fbm drill operation again fbm stands for feature based machining so what does that mean that means MeshroCam will basically by itself detect all the features on that one plane and it will know what tools to bring in and how to machine those so it can be actually from one operation all the way up to 10 if you like depending on how many features it needs to machine now remember FBM drill and FBM mill are separate. So if there's milling operation that needs to be done also on the top surface, you need to create an FBM mill operation, which we'll learn in the next session. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the FBM drill. So obviously we have all these holes that we need to drill. Those are 16 holes. So instead of coming in and picking all those holes, we wanna use the FBM drill operation. And not only that, usually we would come in, we would spot drill it, we would drill it and then we would come in and create the chamfer. So that's three operations. I'm gonna show you how to create all three using one operation using the FBM drill. So let's go ahead and get started. So come over here under toolpath and come over here and select the down arrow over here for expand gallery and come down to hole making. Select FBM drill. All right, so this is the FBM toolpath drill dialog box. So we wanna start right up top here in the setup. First thing, we want to select Automatic Initiate Hole Detection. This will allow MeshroCam to detect all the holes for you. Next is the grouping. We're going to be grouping them by plane. So basically, it will machine all every plane by itself. Not by the tool, but by the plane. If you select by the tool, and if you have drilling on this side and this side, it will drill this side, come back and drill this side, and then go back and do the rest that are on this side. So you want to be careful when you do that, okay? Most of the time when you're milling, you're only doing one side. That's really helpful whenever you're doing more four or five axis kind of machining. So go back and change this to plane. Sorting, go ahead and select this button right here and you're gonna see a lot of sorting methods depending where you want to start. For example, the red dot over here is the start and there's a travel. You can see the line travels from this point to this point to that point to this point. So this entire column and that entire column, you do not want to use in this kind of hole making. That's because you want to use the shortest distance between two holes. For example, starting here, finishing here, and then going all the way around the shortest distance between two holes. Here, it's utilizing the longest distance in between two holes. So that's going to take you longer to machine the part. So anything on this side and this side right here is sufficient. We're going to keep it as a default. The sub program, keep that off. That's only if you have sub programs within your FBM drill program. Under comment over here, we want to call this FBM drill. All right. And we can call this setup number one. For create additional geometry, we are not doing that. So keep those off. And we're not using a fourth axis. So keep that as off. Hole detection over here. You want to keep include blind hole selected. Include chamfer selected since we have chamfers. Do not check include split holes. We are not doing incomplete holes. Limit search to top plane. Make sure that it is on the top plane. We are on the top plane. Set normals towards tool plane on detect. We want to make sure that's unchecked. And we do not want to delete features on detect as well. So keep those two unchecked. Minimum and maximum diameters. These are very important. So if you have diameters, for example, that you do not want FBM drill to detect and drill, you would select a minimum and maximum diameter. For example, if I have a two inch diameter hole, it will not be in between the minimum and maximum. So FBM drill operation will actually skip anything greater than one inch and anything less than 0.03125. Sweep angle, we're gonna keep it at ignore. We're not using a sweep angle. Coaxial holes, machine coaxial holes with gags. We wanna keep it from one plane. You don't wanna use other planes as well. So keep it from one plane. If you use over here from two planes and there's two planes over here for example the top and bottom it will actually go right through if you actually change the graphical area uh, uh, change the options uh, to two planes that's what it will do you can also have from one plane if the gap is less than for example the gap between here and here is less than a certain amount and you can specify that amount right here okay so this is only for planes for parts that has two planes for example uh, an area to machine up top and then there's a space over here and an area to machine to the bottom. So this would be the top plane and this would be the bottom plane. All right. 
Let's go to deep drilling. So deep drilling, you're only using that whenever you have a very, very deep hole to drill. So we're going to keep those as off because we're not drilling that deep. Spot drilling, we definitely want to have that checked. We want to use 100% of the finish hole and a maximum depth of 0.375. So you can select anything that you want over here. This will still be the maximum amount that will drive down. So combine spot drill operation that share the same depth and retract value. So you definitely want to have that checked and use this tool for all spot drilling operations. So if you have your own custom tool, for example, you can actually check this and then come in and pick the tool that you want to spot drill all your operations with. We're going to keep that as off. Let's go to pre-drilling. We want to check pre-drilling and pre-drill pilot holes only. Make sure to have that checked. Hole making. Now this is only useful if you're creating a counter bore through holes and blind flat bottom holes. Now we're not doing any of these, so keep that as off and also keep those two off as well with it. All right, so for the tool, tool selection, you wanna have a tolerance of 0 0.002 or 0 0.001. Now you can use both inches and metric tools, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna keep it at inches, so keep that unchecked. Here, this is very important. You wanna use tool in part file, use tool library, and create tool as needed. So these are very important to check. It'll allow MasterCam to either come in, pick a tool from the library, or create its own tool, depending on the hole size, if it's not there. And for the tool library, you want to have mills, inches checked. Tool creation. You want to have create only standard size tools. If you wanna, don't want to use the standard sizes, you would ch uncheck this. And also consider flute lenses. This is very important because you do not want your tool to be machining in this area. You want to consider the flute length to the depth of the hole. You don't want to come in with a random tool that is not very deep. For example, the cutting area is from here to here, but you're drilling a hole that's from here to here. Then you're basically machining in an area that is not machinable. Hole bottom geometry. This is very important as well. You want to make sure that it is equals to the geometry angle. So basically, just like we have in our model, we have angles to the bottom of the holes. So this is going to basically detect what tool it needs to come in and use to machine the exact geometry at the bottom. So it's going to take that angle at the bottom and use a tool with that same exact angle. Tooltip match tolerance within 2.0 degrees. Lincoln parameters. Now we're going to keep everything here the same. The only thing I want to go over is the clearance. For example, you want to have solid height plus. So this is the solid height plus one inches. So one inch above the solid. You also have the um, the options to select a few of those. Now, I would rather you always select solid height. The most used ones are the solid height and also top of the hole plus. Top of the hole is the top of the hole over here plus one inch. Now, in this case, it would be the same as the solid height plus, but say you have a pocket on the top area and the hole is within the pocket, so the hole would start from right here. That's when the top of the hole plus would come in handy. So for our sake, keep it at solid height plus one inch. We want to have use clearance only at the start and end of an operation. And that will save you a lot of time with the tool not retracting all the way out between every hole. Over here, we track. We're also going to do the same thing. Solid height plus half an inch. Tip compensation. We want to unselect through holes. We are not creating any through holes. And blind holes also make sure it's unchecked. And we're not doing any tapping, so we can keep this the same as well. All right, so you can see avoiding stool bottom out at adjust, no tap, or no adjustment. You can also adjust pre-drill down as well. Now, we'll keep this the same. We're not doing any tap drilling, so it's not going to do anything. All right, so over here, uh, there's also a feature. You want to go down to coolant if you want and turn that on real quick. And then last but not least, come down to features. You're going to go up top all the way to the left, and you're going to see a button that says detect next to it, and there's a big red cross around it. You want to click that. That will allow MasterCam to detect all the holes on all the tools that it needs to machine those holes. And as you can see, there are 16 drilling operations and 16 for the chamfers. Okay. Now it's still going to be three operations, but these are the tools that it needs to use. Now, this is very important. Do not select apply because it will select multiple toolpath groups. The more apply that you select, the more toolpath groups that it creates. So make sure to come over here and select OK. For the NC name, I'm going to call this exercise 6 and select OK. And you're going to notice MasterCam creates a bunch of operation and it actually creates a new toolpath group 
So this one is useless right now. FPM drill is created and within that there's two path groups as well. This one is called FPM drill top spot and pre-drill. Top is for the plane, spot and pre-drill. And this one is top finish. Basically it's finishing, dueling all the way through. So basically what it's gonna do, it's gonna come in, spot drill, chamfer, and then drill all the way through. Let's go ahead and see what happens. And as you can see, the travel is from this hole all the way to that hole. All right, let's go ahead and see that. So I'm gonna select FBM drill and verify selected operations. And there you go, you can see one, two, and three operations. And go ahead and press play. So there's your spot drilling operation, there's your chamfer, and now it's drilling all the way through. Now this is not all the way through, it's up to the depth of the hole. All right, so while it's drilling, I'm gonna place this into the front view and I'm gonna go back to home and select stock. So you can see that it's drilling to, up to that depth. So you can see the chamfer is really nice. The machining is done really nice up to the depth that we want. I'm go back and select stock twice more and go to view and hit isometric. And there you go, it looks really good. If I go back to my model, if I want to see if it looks the same, it looks really good. So there we go, we've concluded with the top plane and the FBM drill operation. So next we're gonna learn how to change the setup to machine this front pocket right here.